Hey there. Today I am reviewing two bags by Kipling. They are both in the dark plum color. They're both made out of this nylon material. This is the Selene crossbody bag and this one is the Mert convertible bag. They are both nine and a half inches um, wide. This one's seven inches high and this one's about five and a half inches high. This is four and a quarter inches deep, and this is one and three quarters inches deep. So um, let's go ahead, and I guess we'll talk about the Selen crossbody bag first. So with the Selen crossbody bag, you get three zippers here. Um, the front zipper is a pocket, and then these two zippers open up to um, two compartments. And then on the very back here, you get another um, kind of a hidden zipper back here. The strap on this purse is nice and wide. Um, it's made of uh, like a cloth-like material, so it's really comfortable to wear, fully adjustable. It does come with a little Kipling monkey. This is a different monkey than some of the standard um, Kipling bags come with. And this one's made of some kind of like rubberized, rubber plastic material, so he's not the fuzzy monkey. So let's see. In this front pocket here, you can see it's fully lined, and you get a slip pocket right here. It holds a cell phone, um, and then you get a little pocket here for a pen, and then you have five credit card slots here. And the pocket opens fairly wide, and it is sort of like, um, I guess it's a grayish, kind of a beige interior um, lining here. And Kipling zippers always are very smooth pulling. They're very heavy duty and durable. So that's the nice thing about Kipling bags. So this first, the middle zipper, which is actually the first main compartment, it's just a pocket. There's no organization in here at all. Um, but it's a nice deep wide pocket. It should hold quite a bit in there. And this last zipper, this compartment back here, it does have another small zippered pocket on the back wall, and it also has a key leash, which is pretty standard in the majority of, maybe all, of Kipling bags, and I really appreciate a key leash. And then, and this pocket is about the same size, and this compartment is about the same size as the first compartment here. And then on the back, of course, you get this other zippered compartment here. Um, it's also fully lined, and it's just a pocket, no type of organization in there at all. So let's see, just real quickly, what this bag can hold. So in this front pocket here, um, of course you would have like your credit cards, you could throw your pens in there. I would probably throw like some mints, um, maybe a little compact mirror, some lipstick, and... You know, I could choose to put my phone in here if I wanted to, um, or maybe I think I would probably put my phone in that back pocket. But then, of course, in this wide um, pocket here, I would fit um, I could fit a couple different granola bars, so some snacks for my kids in there. I could fit uh, a hand lotion. I could throw in my sunglasses in there and this is what's cool about this bag is it's small but it's really spacious I could even fit like one of these sort of small um, umbrellas a compact umbrella would even fit in there with all that stuff in there already and then you still have your glass compartment here um, where, you know, of course you get there your keys in there. Um, I, right now I'm carrying a full-size wallet. I probably wouldn't use this full-size wallet with this bag, but if you wanted to, um, I mean, I could certainly fit it in there and I would still have some space for something else here on top. So, it really holds quite a bit. And then in the back pocket, I could fit my phone in there. And you're pretty much at full capacity now. I mean, you have a little bit more space maybe on the top here, but you can see it's really nice and wide. Um, it's a good-looking bag. The only the only thing I would say about this bag is it does 
just because it's such like a rectangle shape, it kind of resembles like a lunch bag to me. Um, but it's just, it's still really pretty. It's nice. I like this dark plum color. Um, and the other thing, let me just show you another option. If you didn't, you know, need an umbrella. And if you need, like me, I have two little kids. And so I need to have a water bottle with me at all times. So this is a thermos container. It does not fit in this bag, unfortunately. However, I do have this Pura Kiki five ounce water bottle. It's a sippy cup and it fits beautifully in here. It, so if I really, you know, if I was in a pinch and I just really wanted to take some water um, while I was out and about with my kids, the, the Pura, Pura Kiki is what this is called. So if you're looking for a smaller water bottle that could fit a crossbody bag, that might be it for you. So now let's talk about the Mert convertible bag. Okay, so this is the Mert convertible bag. And again, the dark, same dark plum color. Um, you get the, on this bag, it's a convertible bag because you actually can carry it a couple different ways. It comes with two straps. So um, it comes with a shorter um, strap where you can carry the bag just like a handbag if you wanted to. Um, and then that's fully removable. So here's that extra strap. And then you still have this long crossbody strap here. So you can carry it um, as a crossbody and the crossbody strap is also fully removable. Or you could carry it without any strap, just kind of like a clutch. Um, it does not come with a wristlet, but you might be able to find one you could attach and use it that way too if you so wanted. Um, so let's talk about um, kind of what what else comes with this bag. You have on the back a small zipper pocket back here. It does fit a cell phone here. On the front, you have one zippered pocket here in the front, which is kind of cool because it's sort of like a wallet in here. So let me just turn it around so you can get a better idea. Here you get um, a total of eight um, credit card slots here. And then you have this sort of little divider between, just to kind of separate this pocket into two spaces. And on the back wall, you get a little zippered pocket here. So for me, I would keep this, um, I would really use this front pocket as my wallet because the bag is really too small to carry a wallet, unless you carry like a really small mini wallet. Um, so you can keep like your change in this back pocket. And I just like that there's a separator here because I could keep my cash on one side um, and all my receipts from when I go shopping back here. Um, and then you also get this top zippered pocket here. Um, this is the main compartment actually. You get another little zipper pocket in the back um, and then you get the key leash again. And this bag is fully lined inside. It's the same color as the other one. It's just sort of like a grayish beige uh, material in here. Um, and then on the back, uh, what we already talked about was that zipper. So it has a total of three zippers. Um, it's a really cute little bag. It's fairly narrow, but you know, it's deep enough to, to still hold um, your essentials. I think this would still work as like an everyday bag. So let's go ahead and see really quickly what could fit in here. So, for me, I would use this as a wallet, um, and on days when I really needed to take my sunglasses, I would probably keep my sunglasses in this pocket just because you, can, my sunglass case is really thick. If you have a thin sunglass case, you might be able to fit it in the main compartment, but for me, just to keep them from getting scratched up, I'd probably keep my sunglasses safe in this front pocket. And then in the main compartment, um, I would keep, let's see, I could throw two kind of snack bars in there, maybe some mints. I could throw a lipstick in here, a compact mirror, um, and then my phone, I could kind of sneak in there too. And of course, my keys. And so that's that would work, that would be a comfortable amount of stuff to carry. You could still carry 
um, a hand lotion in there if you wanted to and it closes. But if you get too much stuff in there, it ends up being one of those situations where you have to take stuff out just to find what you're looking for. So I'd say without the hand lotion, um, it holds a comfortable amount of stuff. I mean, it would be what you would need just for your day-to-day -day, um, running around. And if you didn't want to keep your phone in the main compartment, you could certainly keep it in this back pocket here. Um, it fits really nicely in there, and I have a really thick um, phone case. So if my phone fits in here, I am imagining most people's phone would probably fit in there um, unless you have one of those really large phones. This is a Samsung 7, so you have an idea of what fits. So. There you have it. It's a really cute bag. Um, I like the removable strap option because I do sometimes carry a backpack and I like that I could just take this without the straps and throw it into my backpack and kind of take it and go like that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed um, this review and thank you so much for watching.